This one is western red cedar and then we have a strip of pine. We have the pool, we have the hot tubs, we have a beach that's just right around the corner. We took 20 boats on our annual prestige rendezvous to South Haven, Michigan this year. We're taking young people and the purpose of our program is to develop a maritime interest. Hey guys, Eric Kyle here, publisher of Great Lakes Scuttlebutt Magazine, and I'm excited to be down to the Toronto International Boat Show right here in beautiful downtown Toronto. I love this show, one of the best shows in North America. So while I'm here, I'm kind of wandering around, I'm looking for some new and exciting products to report on, and I ran across my friend Richard over at Magic Marine Tow. Eric, good morning. Good morning, Richard. It's a pleasure to meet you. You have pleasure. got a really neat product. Thank I you. love this concept. Tell me about it. Okay, it, it, it necessity is mother invention. Three years ago, I was in a restaurant with my daughter talking to her, and we had the sea do for three years. It didn't go, go with us, and I said, there's a better way of doing it. You told them be behind your car, your boat, I'm sorry, your car, your, tro your truck, tow it behind your boat. So this yeah. is what how it works. Okay. The only thing you have on the back of your swim platform is this plate. Okay. No weight. Nothing's taken up on your back swim platform. Right. Just simply just slide it in. Slide it in. Locks in place. Locks in place. You drop this down. You take your protruded fiberglass pole. This pole doesn't like to change its shape. It's used in high-end construction. Yep. 800 tensile line going right through the back end of the uh, to the back end of the sea do is comes through here. You drop your pole down. You connect your line to the back of your sea do handle. Right, right. Then you just take this, bring your your sea do, which is beside your, bring it forward. It will snap into place into the lock there. So the eyelet on the sea do just snaps right just in there. Snaps in there. And now. this is connected then to the back of the sea do. That's right. Okay. This pin will go into here, which prevents this from opening. Oh, nice. Safety. Okay. We also have a safety cable, which is attached to here, which is another safety factor. Okay. Okay. So let me try to make sure that I've got this straight, Richard, because this is really, I think, very unique. Something I've never seen before. Because no everybody usually has you pull it up on the swim platform, then you lose that's your right. swim platform. That's right. Or they've got in some kind of davit system that's up. So this actually, you just tow it behind you like you're towing a trailer behind your car. That's right. And there's no weight on it because this is what the sea is doing. Right, right, the right. The only drag, if you want to call it that, is your sea do And we calculate it's maybe 10 to 15 pounds of drag. Okay, here's the here's the thing that I'm always curious about because before in the old days, I take a rope, I put it on the back of my transom, I attach it to the eyelet of my sea do and I'm dragging it along. Right. Um, it can flood and drown that way. That's right. So you have something that'll actually keep the, the rear of the sea dew up out of the water so there's no backwash going back into the sea dew. Well, you can, first of all, you've got to put a uh, ball cock in there to, to stop water coming into your engine. Right, right. Other than that, your sea dew is going to fly. We've okay. done this several times. You see the emergency stop Yeah. from 30 miles down to zero. Mm -hmm. Water comes up onto the running boards, but it doesn't flood. Right. So it's not going to sink behind you by no, any means. No, I because love that. you're supporting it in the front yeah. and in the back. So what's the advantage of having this rather than just tying off a line and having it stay out there? First of all, I saw a young lady once trying to stop this from uh, coming into the back of her dad's boat, and she fractured her wrist. Oh, so safety for sure. Safety. So stopping is an issue. Stopping, turning, maneuvering. Turning. Yeah, I it gotta imagine. All. Yeah, that's got. It this has got to have a lot of advantages over just having a rope back there. <laughs> Yes, safety first of all, second of all, security. Yeah. Third of all, it doesn't put any weight back here if you're going to put it up on here. Nice. And it's a third of a price of anything that you have to pull up on your swim platform. Right, 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 which is nice. One of the boat manufacturers, large boat manufacturers were by and they said this is the answer because it throws off your center of gravity. Yeah. You got to put your trim tabs down, yep. increase your fuel economy, and you can't have problems with your I love that. Well, um, let me ask you another silly question. Maybe uh, 
instead of putting a CEDO on there, can I put my inflatable on there? We're working on that. Okay. It's going to be a different design, yeah. different concept, because the weight is totally in the back where a CEDO is centered. Well, see, part of the challenge as well with our powerboat is when we go to a faraway destination, uh -huh. like, you know, we're cruising for maybe even overnight to get there, the last thing I want to do is drag my CEDO behind me. Right. So if I've got it on like a trailer basically behind me, if I'm going, I can take my seat with me anywhere. You can put two of them on the back. Oh, which is even better. That is true. <laughs> I mom, like it. Mom, dad, and maybe the kids. So this again, something I've never seen before, Richard. How long has this been out? Uh, this is the, this is the uh, what would you call it, the announcement. We oh, did, this is brand new then. We showed prototypes in a couple of boat shows to see what the reaction was. Okay. We had 17 orders given to us when we were able to complete. Wow. We've got 24 orders right now at the boat show. Oh, I bet. This thing is going to go off like wildfire. Now, size of a boat, is that going to matter for a product like this? No, because I'll show you why. When this is all disconnected, yep. you simply take your pool out in here, throw it in your dock box or alongside of your cabin. Put this up in your dock box and you're done. So if I've got like a 20 foot runabout, can I pull my seat behind that too? Yes. So yes. I'm just going to need a swim platform, that's all I need, something to attach this piece to. That's right. And this is only about maybe, what, five, six inches? Uh, it's six by eight. Okay, so yeah, I don't need a whole lot of space back there. Just to tell you quickly something about it, the aluminum substrate is 6061 aluminum, which is higher than a spec for salt water. Okay. The powder coating is done for us by a company in, in Scarborough that does it for the Canadian and U.S. Navy. Okay. And the spec I found out was four, at least 4,000 hours of continuous salt spray. Wow. So that is not going to affect your boat at all? No. And it's not going to change discolor or anything like that or no. rust or anything? It's good. So It's made for salt water. The Great Lakes, which we cover... Um, has a very large population of Amer American boaters as well. That's right. So are you selling this product to both Canadian and American boaters or just Canadian or how's that work? We're selling it worldwide. We've had uh, inquiries from Australia as far away as Norway. Nice. Okay, so let's say, Richard, we're not able to make it down to the Toronto Boat Show. Where am I going to go online to be able to find out more information about your product and more importantly, where I can buy it? Okay, www.magicmarinetow.com and Starport Marina in Lake Simcoe is going to be the master distributor. Oh, nice. Okay, very familiar with those guys. Richard, great product, my man. Thank you, I think you, you're Eric. going to do some wonderful things with this. We're going to take this Canadian idea and take it all the way. I like it, sir. MagicMarineTow.com, you guys. That's where you want to go. Find out more information about being able to trailer your sea right behind your boat no matter where you go. Thanks so much for joining us today, you guys. We'll see you out on the water. Thank you.